So, I normally tell people when I go to a service like this that when you come to the church, be here holy, body, soul, and mind. Be here holy, body, soul, and mind. So that when you leave the church, you leave with something. Because sometimes people come with an engagement. Many things happening around them. And they run away from whatever is going on. Even the word of God does not have a place for them. And I remember a story given to me that uh, a preacher was called like I'm called here. And he was having very good word. He did a preaching. And there was a lady here seated. When the man started uh, preaching, he started uh, crying. Because this lady saw the man with the long beard. And he was talking, pulling the beard like this. And the man, woman cried. And this lady interpreted that this, guy, this lady has uh, started hearing the word of God. This is uh, <laughs> the response. Afterwards, he was excited even to talk much more. And he, he said, is there anybody here who would like to accept Jesus Christ as his, his personal savior or a personal savior? That is how to Nobody stood up. Even the lady was crying. Then he said, since I started uh, uh, preaching, there's a lady who has been uh, crying here. Although you, you, are, you are not uh, responding, but this one has responded. Please, our sister, can you rise up and tell us what God has told you? He stood. He looked at the preacher. He started crying even more. Hey, you are not telling us what is happening. Oh, not that I want to get saved. But when I looked you and I saw your beard, it reminded of my hinkot. <laughs> I had a hinkot that I was preparing to go and sell. And they helped me. But it died the other day. <laughs> so this lady did not hear the word of God was, was coming with the hinkot in there. What have you come with this morning? What are you, have you come with? Long time ago, we used to have come with the newspapers. And we are reading the newspapers and get excited. The preacher would think they are excited because of what you are saying. But there is some item in the newspaper. Today is not, not newspaper. Today is the phone. People, they are there. Eh? And you see people very excited. You think it is the preaching? No. Phone is good because it has got him, it has got uh, 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 what you call the prayers can be there. You can also put a note, you can write a note on, on, on the phone. But when it is used for cartoon, when you are hearing the word of God, you are excited by the cartoon. Then you are here like a lady who came with a king goat. Be here and body so early so that you come with, with something. Uh, today, because I'm also being told rush, uh, we are uh, talking about God fights for his people. God fights for his people. Psalm number 30, 1 to 5, that is where we, it was read. Five, uh, uh, Psalm 30, 1 to 5. Thanking God for recovery from grave illness. This is a psalmist. We thank God for his recovery from illness. God has protected the psalmist from his enemy. He called God and he healed him. Restoring his life. He is inviting us to praise God with thanks to his holy name. God's anger is short-lived, but his favor is everlasting. We weep at night, but morning comes with joy. That is what we has been led to us. Enemies surrounding us. The people we think they are friends, they can be your enemies. One day, a king asked another king that he should go and visit him one day. 
And this king started preparing for the station of this other king and told his workers on that day, but did your day very early in the morning to slaughter the, the sheep. That is a ram. There was a ram which was very, very, very big there. You slaughter because I have a, a visitor. That material day in the morning, very early in the morning, because he was coming in the afternoon. The days went on. In the farm there was a, a cock. That is chicken. There was a cock, a big one. There was also a ram. So that particular night when the day of coming of the king was nearing, the cock started making noise at night, celebrating the death of the lamb. This is what we have learned here. Celebrating. Before it was in the morning, before morning came, the king sent a delegation to this other king. Go and tell the king, I'm very sorry. Even for a short notice. I'm not coming. I'll come another day. We shall arrange for another day, which will be very convenient for me. Oh. Okay. Any the king summoned the people who are supposed to slaughter the goat. The, the, the sheep. Don't slaughter sheep. This sheep that night, you know, when you rely on God, it's very good. This sheep was crying throughout the night. We, are, we, are, we have heard night you cry. Morning is it? Joy. That is the sheep. So the king told Told the, 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 the laborers or the servants, don't slaughter the sheep. Slaughter the cock. Because visitors are very few. And now not even most, most honored. They are not very honored like a king. Slaughter them. It is when we celebrate when our people are going down or they are weak or something is Something is happening to them, we celebrate. But that thing can turn onto us. That's what the psalm is telling us. As if that was enough. Daniel chapter 6, verse 1 to 23. This is a, a plot against Daniel. It's a plot. People conspiring. And they are conspiring because Daniel. Proved it to be very faithful. That is what we have heard. He could not be accused of anything. And the king lifted him up. He had 120 satraps. The people who worked with him. And then he also appointed three presidents. And one of the presidents was Daniel. And Daniel also won in favor before the king. Because of his doings, because of his character, because of his behavior. I think you are getting something here. It is how you keep yourself, that the people interpret you, that the people look at you. They can talk very much about you. I may give a testimony that I, that, that I give, but uh, if it is not true, people know. So what happens? The story is this one. King Darius set up his kingdom by choosing 120 satraps to assist in governance. After this, he also had the three presidents, and Daniel was one of them, shining above all. Because of this, King Favor was, king's favor was on Daniel. The satraps and the presidents started planning about his downfall. 
They advised the king to put a, a decree that none else should be worshipped but the king because they knew who Daniel worshipped. It's better for people to know whom you worship, whom you rely on. They knew. And that's, they are looking for weakness. And the weakness was, if David is, Daniel is told to change his mind, he will not. And therefore, you end up dying. The order was, if anyone does not reject, uh, respect, sorry, respect the decree, he was to be put to death by being thrown into lion's den. The king tried to plead with Daniel to save him, but Daniel remained firm in his faith. He ended in the lion's den. The king told him, May your God whom you serve deliver you. That is chapter 6, verse 16. I'm not going to read it there. May God whom you serve deliver you. Chapter 16 of verse of chapter 6 of Daniel. And he was thrown there. Like Jesus Christ was put in a tomb. And after three days, he rose. So the following day, this man came to see whether the man is still alive. As the women also came to see whether Jesus is alive. To find Jesus is alive. To find also that Daniel is alive. Even the king is asking, I see the Lord is saved you, Daniel. That is uh, from verse 19 to 24. You can read that one because I'm also saving the time. And David, the Daniel said, yes, God has done something for me. And then the king asked the people to gather all the accusers of this man called Daniel with the family and he thrown into the den of lions. The Bible says before even they reached the bottom, they were in pieces. You see how God can fight for you when you rely on him. You see how God becomes also faithful to you as you become faithful to him. This is exactly what is happening here. Jesus had to undergo all whatever because of us. And he rose again. The Bible says, see, but he did not rise again. His death was useless. And that's why we have been celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Similarly, we are seeing what the man of God can do. It's an example of us. How we remain faithful. How we can be trusted. How we can walk with the God throughout to save God ourselves. You know, people around you are the people who look for you. And look for you, you think they, are, they love you. And they are looking for you and down for. Calling you good names. Shouting good names to you. Hey. Hey. The way way. Are you the one or the other? Be careful. They are laying trap for you. There will be a trap. And you will be caught up. If you are faithful in Jesus Christ, you come for rescue. This is what happened to another servant who worked with the king for 10 years. Good 10 years. And he was very faithful. Like Daniel. But the people surrounding this person were not very good. They could give their stories to the king of what this man is doing. False things, not the right things. And then, the king one of the days says, no, you know, my decree was, if someone goes against what I've said, he is fit to be eaten by hyenas. This man and kept 
vias hainas to punish wrongdoers. And many people are eaten by those lions, uh, those uh, hainas. Like you, you see the Daniel case. And this man, he was called by a king. And also, you know, I found you have done something wrong. Uh -huh. Why? He started to, uh, eh, to explain. Ah, no, no, no. You know the deep things. You go to the bench where hyenas are kept. And tomorrow, not, not any other day, this man pleaded with the king. Please, king. Because I'm going and I'm not coming back, I know. What do you do? Give me 10 days. Give me how many day? days? To prepare myself. Ah, 10 days is not a, an issue. Go. Yourself. So this man went to the people who are serving the hyenas and he pleaded with them, please, can I get a chance to, to give food to these hyenas? Because these hyenas, they always eat. And I will assist you, I will, it is me who will be giving you the food. And you will just, and the people are very happy. Because, because they are relieved of their duties. So the man, 10 days, went on giving uh, 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 food. And then they came. He was very faithful. Also. He went to the king. King, now I've come. What you want to do to me? Do it. He was carried. As used. Come. Throw this change of, of highness. He was thrown there. And everybody else to come and sit and uh, enjoy and uh, eh? What is happening? So, the king was surprised to see this man caressing the, the hyenas. And the hyenas are holding the legs and saying, Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey. hey, I say, Bwana, what has happened? You mean these animals cannot do something? Then he turned the king. King, I have worked you for 10 years. And the good thing that you can do to me is to put me into a cage of hyenas. I have worked for these hyenas only 10 days. <laughs> only 10 days. And they have spared me. This is exactly what I'm saying. with you. God will refuse. If you keep yourself tied to God, God will play the game in the other direction. Not the direction which is meant. So, this is Daniel. Are you even Daniel? Let us be Daniel. If you want to save ourselves, let us be Daniel. Lastly, Matthew chapter 15, verse 46, and we run to chapter 16, 1 to 8. That is the body and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Joseph of Arimathea, he was a secret disciple of Jesus, went to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body so as to bury it. He took the body, wrapped it with linen cloth, and he laid it in a tomb. The Bible says this tomb was made by Joseph for himself. As we read in Matthew chapter 27, verse 60, this tomb was a donation from this man called Joseph. Matthew 27 and uh, verse 60. He contributes and laid and clothes and tomb, whereas Nicodemus gave contribution of ointments or spices. That is also in John 19, 39. John 19, 39 introduces um, somebody called Nicodemus who went to Jesus by night in this burial of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ's burial and a lot of contribution. We remember also the Cyrene 
uh, this man of Cyrene, Simon Cyrene, who carried the, 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 the cross of Jesus Christ. We remember also the women, as we are going to read about them, the three of them mentioned here, also going very early morning uh, to anoint Jesus Christ. This is also contribution. The women wondered who should roll the stone for them. But the Bible says an angel of the Lord came that early morning, rolled it and sat on it. And that is Matthew 28, verse 2. I'm rushing. Matthew 28, verse 2, it shows that uh, what happened to the stone, which the women were afraid. Women were not afraid also of the soldiers who were kept there as guards. Because they were there. They were not allowed them also to remove the stone. But they did not remember. But also not remembering they were very faithful. Although they knew the stone was there, the stumbling block was there, they don't give up. They went. When we don't give up, God faces us and does marvelous. The stone, which was uh, around, uh, a stumbling block, was thrown out of the mouth of the tomb and totally arrested by this uh, angel who sat on it. When you trust in God, whatever problems are ahead of you, they are arrested and sat on so that you are set free, so that you are at peace. To finding a young man there in a white linen, I think it was an angel who advised them, don't this person we are looking for has risen. As he said, he is going to meet you in Galilee. Go and tell his disciples. That is exactly what the women did. The tomb was so empty. But the angel encourages them that Jesus was alive. And that they should go and tell his people, his disciples, that Jesus would meet them at Galilee. This is a story which is very good for us. If Jesus Christ did not rise up, us, uh, uh, rise up we have no hope. It is this resurrection which reminds us of our death and the resurrecting, coming back to life, not into this earth, but in another earth, in another heavenly place. That is for you and me. We should be responsible. That's what now I'm coming here. We should be less responsible. We have seen the story of women. Even when Jesus was, Christ was put in the tomb, they followed all the way to the tomb and found where he was laid, the Bible says. So that's why on Sunday, very early, they went because they knew where they were going. We should know where we, where we are going. Whether obstacles are there or not, we should know where we are going. God is going to remove the obstacles for us. Let us be responsible. Let us be wise as we move this journey. It's a journey for us. Even when the elections come, we should look for responsible people. Responsible what? You don't uh, even respond to that one. <laughs> you may, maybe the election is on the way. But, uh, <laughs> however, look for responsible people who arrest the problem. The women arrest the problem. They are the people who carry the light uh, in information. True story. Women were not witness of Jesus rising up from death because they were not there. They had. But they, what do you call them? The soldiers who were there, who knew whatever happened, went with the, with the true story. True story. That we read in Matthew chapter 28, from verse 10 and on. True story. But whatever story they had, the testimony they had was bought to a given money. And he thought what to go and say. Lack of responsibility. Go and tell him while you are asleep. The disciples came and stole them body. And if this is, this is had by the governor, we shall know how to deal with them so that we can save you. 
they were taught. The story which they were taught up to today is taught by them in Israel. But we rely on the story of women, the story which was just told. Even today we rely of, on what we are told. We hear the word of God being told to us, we change our mind. This is exactly what happened. So, brothers and sisters, we are seated here. Look for responsible people. Look for who? I will give you another story of a responsible person before I sit down. Help me. Just one minute. One minute. <laughs> Tomorrow you will not call me again. <coughs> responsible person. Responsible person. There was a pastor. No, no. I start this way. Long time ago, when I was going to school, a young boy, what we call underwear was not there. Do you know what is underwear? We never wore anything like your underwear. Men, no, those who are young ones, they don't know whether they are going to walk without your underwear. And we walk without your underwear. Even when I went to school, by grace of God, I was having that short. In a usual short, yeah? And a shirt. But the others went to school without even a short. What they had was a, a long shirt behind here. And the front was short. When you sit down, you put this one and bring it up here. So that you can see. That kind of. And uh, that time, Pastor came to the church and told his congregation, today I'm excited. Today I'm what? Excited. We shall, have, we shall sing for you with my family. So we shall have a choir, a small choir of my family. Ah, people will clap with their hands. Ah, thank you very much, Mr. Zaya. And they came off in front. And the song was sung in Kikamba. To Kakoma Nana Yesu, ya, 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 ne. To Kakoma Nana Yesu, ya, 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 ne. To Kakoma Nana Yesu, ya, 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 ne. Eti kila tumwendete. Eti kila tumwendete. Eti kila tumwendete. Alleluia. Ruka koma nana yesu. Ya 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 ni. Eti kila tumwende. We shall meet with Jesus in the air. We believe as who love him. That is the interpretation. So this man who was singing with the family, he went to help himself and never he forgot to flatter up the, the trouser. And here he is in front. That's why I'm saying there must be a wise person. When you elect you act you are uh, someone who is uh, responsible. There was a man here. A man here. Hey, Abana. He, that's in the front. And he went, stood before, before the, 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 the pastor. Stood before. And he told the congregation, let us pray. Because he knew they would close their eyes. While he is uh, praying, telling God, thank you because of this pastor. We have never seen somebody like this. He's telling many things. He is touching the, the pastor behind here. To alert him to button up the trousers. And the, you know the trousers that time were not having buttons. No, no, the sheet. It was not zip. It was in buttons. Zip button, no pop. Before you tie it, it's a time. So this man made sure that he long, prolonged the prayer so that the man can prepare himself. He took courage. We need a wise man to, to take courage. You cannot come here and stop a, a pastor from singing. How can you come? If you are not encouraged, if you are, you, are, you are not strong enough, it will not happen. So he said, whatever happens, I let me go. I will stop him to arrest the situation. Come up and arrest what? Don't see things going wrong. Even to a um, fellow, fellow you are sitting with here. Don't make, 
make things go wrong when you are in Rupu. Arrest. Correct it. That is the way. As a Christian. So this man knew the song. This man who is the wise man knew the song. Akonewe akaendelea. Akonewe moko make na mau make. Akonewe moko make na mau make. Akonewe moko make na mau make. Akonewe nundo akwa. Akonewe nundo akwa. Akonewe nundo akwa. Alleluia. Akonewe moko make na mau make. As he was nailed both the hands and the feet for my sake. Very good song. So this man went back and everybody went back and the, 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 the institution was arrested. Arrested what? We are seeing the women arrested in the situation. We are seeing Simon the Cyrene arrested in the prophet. We have seen other people coming up with, eh, with whatever. Jesus would have hands on that people forever. Even though this Yusuf and Mathea and Nicodemus, they will not be taken out. Arrest the situation. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you because you are wonderful. We want to thank you because you have given us this chance. And I pray that our hearts may be changed. That we can have responsibility. That we can also trust in you. So that when we are being accused of what we have not done, you stand for us and you fight for us. Continue to manifest yourself in our hearts so that God, we may see your glory. And any other person who really, God has been touched by this one, he have no time other than standing and saying, you are the Lord. You save, you keep, you satisfy. And this is what I pray in Jesus' name.